Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another empties video where I will talk about the products that I have used up and my thoughts on them and if I will repurchase them or not. It's been quite a few months since I've filmed a video. I've just been busy getting back into a new school year and working from the office instead of from home. And so finding our, our rhythm again. Um, but anyway, let's just get into it. So the products that I've used up, <clears throat> I have two bins. Um, it's from the months of August, September, October, and it's November now. So maybe July, July, August, September, October, I believe is, is the four months of these products. So let's get into it. The first product is this Johnson's Baby Bubble Bath. My boys take a bath almost every single night and they love having bubbles. So we're always trying out new kinds. This isn't our favorite, um, but it is nice because it's really gentle. It suds up pretty well and it smells just nice and clean. The next product is this Mystic Crest um, Enchanted Strawberry Mouthwash. So my boys, there's a little bit left in here. My boys do mouthwash again daily and um, we try different flavors and this was a good one. I went through this Flamingo or Flamingo by the brand Foxy Bay. It's a leave-in cream conditioner. And I got this in a FabFitFun box. I think it was an add-on <clears throat> in one of their add-on sales. It was fine. I still prefer that it's a 10. It's probably my favorite of all time. But um, I paid probably less than $10 for this. And it was nice to try a new product, but I wouldn't repurchase that. <clears throat> I would repurchase the mouthwash and the body wash again. Here's another mouthwash. This is really dirty. Um, it's the Listerine Smart Rinse in the flavor Berry Splash. This was probably their least favorite out of the kids' mouthwashes they've tried, um, that berry flavor. So I probably won't repurchase that again. Uh, we went through a, or I went through, a Dove <clears throat> Curl Defining Mousse. This was okay. My favorite mousse um, for when I have naturally curly hair and when I scrunch it, I use a mousse. My favorite is probably the Amica brand, and I typically will purchase that at TJ Maxx. But this was, I think I got it at Walmart because I was in need of something, and it worked okay. Um, it stopped, there's probably like half a container left in this, but it stopped spraying out. So, like I'll push on it, and it doesn't do anything, regardless of which direction it's facing. So, I have to throw it away, so there's some sort of flaw in the packaging. I feel like this has happened to me before. <clears throat> using this brand of mousse. So I'll try to remember that this time and not repurchase it. Um, I went through a thing of tinkle razors. You get these on Amazon and um, they're great for just like stray hairs and um, like on your eyebrows and stuff anywhere. You can use it anywhere on your face or on your body. Um, so these are tinkle razors. Kirkland makeup removing wipes. I use these almost nightly to take off my makeup before I wash my face and I love them. So I have several candles here. This is the Signature Soy Sun Kissed Candle and this was from Target. This was pretty good. It just kind of smelled like a sunscreen. Yeah, like a sunscreen candle. I burned it this summer and um, I probably wouldn't repurchase this same one again, but I, I think I received it for my birthday a couple of years ago and I did enjoy it. My husband went through this Cremo brand body wash in the, the scent Silver Water and Birch. You can get these at Target. You can get them at TJ Maxx. Um, you may even be able to get them at Walmart. I'm not sure. But he liked this. Uh, I got this one at TJ Maxx and I put it in his stocking last year. And it was a nice body wash and it smells really good. I went through this Amica Nourishing Hair Mask. I got this at TJ Maxx. And this was a nice hair mask. You just put it on for two to three minutes and let it sit and then rinse it out. It smells really, really good. All of the Amica products smell really good and you can usually find them at discount stores. Uh, yeah, I liked this and I would purchase that again. It made my hair really soft and easy to brush through. My hair gets pretty tangly after I wash it in the shower. And so um, it's always nice. I have to use either a leave-in conditioner or a heavy treatment mask or both sometimes. We went through this head and shoulders two in one with almond, avocado, and sunflower oil. This is that pump um, shampoo. 
and I believe we got this one at Costco. It feels like there's still a little bit in here, but it's just water. Um, it smells, this flavor smells really good, the almond and avocado. It's really sweet smelling and we like it. My husband uses Head & Shoulders every day, so I will repurchase and have repurchased that many times. Here is another bubble bath. This is the original Mr. Bubbles. I got this at Walmart. My kids like it. Um, it does a pretty good job at creating suds for them to play in. I would say my favorite kind is still the Dr. Teal's. Dr. Teal's? <clears throat> yeah, Dr. Teal's bubble bath. Um, smells really good. They have lots of different flavors in that brand, and the bubbles are just really rich and fun with that brand. I uh, went through a Bath & Body Works 24-hour moisture ultra shade body cream in cucumber melon. This is such a nostalgic scent for me. I used this in high school and um, yeah, it just reminds me of like my tennis games in high school and I lifeguarded in the summers on a lake and so it just reminds me of those summers. Um, love this scent. We'll forever repurchase it as long as Bath & Body Works keeps it around. I know it went away for a long time and then they brought it back so love the cucumber. Cucumber Melon from Bath & Body Works. I went through a Juice Beauty Cleansing Milk. I don't remember where I purchased this. Maybe Ulta. Yeah. Or maybe I got it. I might have gotten this in an advent calendar. This was just okay. It wasn't anything special when it comes to a face wash. I typically won't spend a ton of money on face washes because I'm rinsing it down the sink. It's not like a serum or a moisturizer um, or like an eye cream that is soaking into your skin. So... Um, I wouldn't repurchase this again. It was fine. It did the job, but I wouldn't spend the money for it. Juice Beauty is like a mid-range brand when it comes to price. I really like the CeraVe moisturizing face wash and the Cetaphil one is really nice. Um, Origins, I love their face wash. It's a little bit more pricey, but, um, they make a really good one. I'm excited to try the Tula face wash. I'm getting that in my FabFitFun box for the winter. And so I'm looking forward to trying that because I've heard some good things about that face wash as well. Uh, here's a candle from Bath & Body Works Autumn. This is probably maybe my number one favorite for the fall. It's either this or Harvest Gathering. I've just burned this candle like every fall for, I don't know, so, so many years. Probably 10 at least 10 years. Um, the scent notes here are bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, fir balsam, and then it has essential oils in it. And it's just a really beautiful, fresh scent that has all the good, um, all the good scents of fall. So if you've never tried the autumn candle from Bath and Body Works, definitely give it a try. They <clears throat> come out with it every year. This is sad. I bought this at TJ Maxx a long time ago for like $6 and it's the, um, mango or no papaya body cream they make really good body creams i waited too long to use this and unfortunately it's just gone bad so i'm gonna toss it i don't do that very often but this time i am um mrs meyers clean day dish soap in the scent lilac i love the mrs meyers dish soaps and cleaning sprays i usually buy the seasonal scents that they come out with and this was a really nice um seasonal scent and i loved that color so I will repurchase that at some point next spring. Um, another mouthwash for my kids. Don't mind all the goop. They go through this pretty quickly because a lot of the times I'll let them measure out their mouthwash. Um, so there's some that gets wasted for sure. Bubblegum was this, the flavor here and they enjoyed the bubblegum flavor. I went through this nail polish remover from Up and Up. It was fine. It was just a nail polish remover. I don't really paint my nails very often. Um, in fact, I need to go through my nail polish soon. I have one here. I, I threw a few in that I'm getting rid of, like this Sally Hansen nail polish. The, um, the brush actually deteriorated because I've had it for so long, so I'm just tossing this. Um, this was fine. It did the job. And yeah, I need to go through my nail polishes soon and just chuck a bunch of them that I don't use. Okay, here's a product I did not like, but the packaging got me. So this is the June and Moon Watermelon Sugar Scrub looks like this. Um, it you it comes in like little squares of exfoliating. They look like sugar cubes like that you would put in tea or something. And it's a body scrub. So the idea is that it would dissolve in water and you'd use one to exfoliate. They were so, when they were hard, they were extremely um, gritty. And so it really hurt to rub on your skin, which I love a good exfoliator, but those were too much. And then when I got them wet to where they did 
um, disintegrate and then were less exfoliating, then it was just like they were liquidy and they ran off my hand into the shower and down the drain. So the product design, although cute, was really impractical for me. And I really just prefer either one that you squeeze into your hand or one that you scoop your hand in in the shower um, and exfoliate your body. So I won't repurchase this June and Moon brand again. I got it at Target. Um, my kids went through this Oragel anti-cavity fluoride toothpaste in the flavor Bubbleberry and it was fine. It did the job. Well, we'll see if it did the job. They have a dentist appointment next week, so we'll see how they're doing. Um, I went through a Sweet Escape Strawberry Picnic shower gel from Bath and Body Works. I just buy seasonal scents when they're on sale, like at um, when there's either coupons for free product or at their semi-annual sales. I enjoyed this strawberry scent and I would purchase it again. <clears throat> Here is a hand soap from Bath and Body Works. This is the Vampire Blood. We just finished this up. Um, the scent notes are red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. And we just bought it for the cute packaging for the bathroom for my kiddos. So I would repurchase that again. <clears throat> Let's see. I went through a cucumber moisturizing face mask. This was just okay. I haven't really found a face mask that I think is superior to other face masks um, when it comes to like the sheets that you put on your face. I just enjoy the process of putting it on and chilling out for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, these were from TJ Maxx and they were fine. I'd purchase them again. Here's some like kid toothbrushes that we went through. Nothing special to say there. Um, <coughs> I went through this Whey Scalp and Body Scrub. This was fine. It was really expensive. It smelled really nice. I would never pay full price for a full size of this. I believe I got it either as a sample from Sephora or in some sort of advent calendar. It was really good, but I'm not going to spend that much on a body scrub. Um, I went through this. This is really dirty. It's got makeup all over it. Glossy Box 3-in-1 Moisturizer. It says it plumps, primes, and protects. I got it in the Glossy Box advent calendar last year. Um, it was okay. It wasn't like the best primer I've ever used or moisturizer I've ever used. I don't know that it plumped my skin at all. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this product, but it was fine to try out while I had it. I went through a DW Home candle and strawberry shortcake. This was a really good candle. It smelled nice. It burned pretty well all the way to the bottom. Um, and it just smelled like a strawberry bakery scent. So, uh, I don't know that I would necessarily repurchase this scent again. There's so many other scents that I have and that I want to try that it was just fine. I went through this Philosophy Fresh Cream Perfume. This is a really, really nice, just fresh, sweet scent. And I typically would use this after I showered at night, um, before I'd go to bed. I would just spray this on because it just smelled pretty and clean. Um, so I would purchase a bigger, like full size of this. And yeah, I, don't, I totally would get the Fresh Cream scent again. That was a good one. I went through a Bath and Body Works Market Peach flower. What are these called? Wallflower. It was fine. I love the Market Peach and anything peach scented. I went through a couple of Drunk Elephant products. So I don't know, several years ago, I got a Drunk Elephant kit from Sephora during their VIB sale. And it came with the C Tango eye cream as well as the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. And these were fine. I didn't really see the hype with Drunk Elephant. I know there's a lot of people that love this brand. It was it was just okay to me. I would probably wouldn't. Well, I maybe I would repurchase their products again, but again, it wasn't like something I just loved, loved, loved. So, like for example, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, one of the best skincare items I've ever experienced and tried. It's so expensive. So it's not like a product I can have all the time, but um, yeah, I don't know. You can't compare the two because they're different products, like they do different things, but the Drunk Elephant didn't quite give me the same reaction as that Charlotte Tilbury product, so I'll say that. Um, watermelon Lemonade and Berry Waffle Cone Wallflowers from Bath & Body Works. Those were nice to have during the summer. <clears throat> I have stuff shoved everywhere. Okay, the poor... 
Oh, what is it? Pore Professional, Pore Professional Super Setter from Benefit. This is a makeup setting spray. This was okay. I still prefer the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Um, I don't remember if I got that at TJ Maxx or something, or maybe in some sort of a kit. But um, yeah, it was fine. I probably wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it. I went through two Revlon Color Stay makeups in 250 Fresh Beige. These I've been wearing these for years. I love them so much, and I actually just repurchased another one yesterday. So I do love those for foundation. Um, I went through this candle by the Red Shed in Mold Cider. My husband got this for me a few years ago. We had just purchased our camping trailer, and he had to go to like a hardware store or something and found it there. And um, it was a sweet little gift. It smells like like apples and spices. It burned really weird, though. There's all this wax around the side. But it was a nice candle, and I enjoyed it while I had it. I wouldn't seek it out again. I went through this Sky High Lash, Lash Sensational Mascara from Maybelline. I really did enjoy this mascara. My one complaint is the brush. I prefer a nat natural bristle brush. This one was like rubbery and the wand moves quite a bit, which was really annoying. Um, I've tried worse mascaras. So I would probably purchase this again because I think it really did a good job of volumizing my lashes. Um, but I, again, I hated the brush on this. I went through a Tree Hut lip scrub. This was just an exfoliator that you'd rub on your lips to get dead skin off. It was good. I would repurchase it. This is sad. So I got this in a FabFitFun box and um, the cord got wrapped around it when it was still hot. So it melted this cord. It could have caused a fire. I'm just so grateful that it did not do that. Um, so anyway, I have to throw this away, but I was able to replace it. In my last FabFitFun box, they had these as an add-on for like $15, so I got a new one, but be careful when you're putting away your heating tools. Um, I went through a secret deodorant in the scent Lux Lavender. This smells really nice, and I would totally repurchase that scent. I went through a small bottle of the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I don't think I've ever used a full size of, or I have never used a full size of this, so for like any length of time that would show me a real difference in my skin, it's a nice product. It feels nice on my skin. It makes me feel hydrated, but I would need to use more of this product for a longer period of time to really see what kind of results it can give. But it's a cult classic. People love that. So I'm sure give it a try if you never have. Um, I got these jumbo cotton balls from Target. I love the jumbo size um, just because I use them for my toner. So I would repurchase those and then a Crest 3D white strip. Love those for teeth whitening. Uh, let's see. I have another huge container here. How are we doing? 18 minutes. Okay. Oh, let's see. Can do this. this is my normal bin. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Personal uh, laundry detergent pods. I really enjoy the smell of these. So I would purchase those again. Um... Here is a Mrs. Myers Mum Scented Multi-Surface Cleaner. Again, I love the Mrs. Myers. I'm using the Acorn and Spice one right now, and it smells so good. Probably like any other Mrs. Myers scent I've used, it lingers. You can smell it like when you walk into the kitchen after you've been cleaning. Um, but all of their scents are really nice. Again, the Mum is a great one for springtime. I went through an Eva NYC Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. I really do like this dry shampoo. Um, I believe I bought this from Ulta. And yeah, it's a really good one. Makes your hair look clean after you haven't washed it. <clears throat> I went through this Herbal Essence White Grapefruit and Mosa Mint Naked Volume uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. I don't know where the shampoo is. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. This was nice. I love Herbal Essence shampoos and conditioners and I'll continue to repurchase them. I went through this deep cleansing precision beauty makeup remover wipe. I didn't like this. Um, I think my husband got these at TJ Maxx and they were in my stocking last year. And he, I love that he gets me beauty products from TJ Maxx because I just love trying stuff out there. But these were not good. They didn't do a good job at removing my makeup, or at least as well as the Kirkland brand ones do. I went through these Downy April Fresh um, scent boosters for laundry. I really love using these in our laundry. They just smell, they make this, the clothes smell so good and fresh and um, 
yeah, I will continue to repurchase scent boosters and that was a nice scent. So let's go through some Bath and Body Works. We've got lots of hand soaps. We have this Treat Yourself Blueberry Glazed Donut in the scent notes are Blueberry Glaze Fresh Baked Donut and Sprinkles. And this was in my kiddo's bathroom. I really enjoy the um, Bath and Body Works foaming hand soaps and I just buy the soaps for their packaging or their scent. Um, so yeah, I would repurchase that again. It smelled really good and it was cute packaging. We went through this autumn rainfall and I liked the leaves on this package. The scent notes were aloe leaf, bergamot, and chamomile water. So it was just a clean smelling soap. Um, went through this blueberry lemonade this summer. The notes are sugared lemonade, blueberries, and crushed ice. Loved the smell of this. Loved the cute packaging. Would repurchase that one. Went through a cucumber melon body wash. Did I go over the scent notes? So crisp cucumber, watery, watery honeydew, summer cantaloupe, sparkling, sparkling grapefruit, and sheer woods. So I used this at the same time I used that body lotion or body cream. Love that scent. Another hand soap, raspberry tangerine, wild raspberries, fresh tangerine, and lemon zest. This was really nice. Um, strawberry kiwi. I got this at a semi-annual sale. Strawberry, sweet apple, and tart kiwi. This was a good hand soap. I'm running out of room to put stuff. Um, boardwalk vanilla cone. This is a classic. Love that. And it's marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. Would repurchase that one. And a couple more. So many hand soaps. Fresh strawberry tart. This was fresh picked strawberries, orange zest, and bergamot. This was a good one. Pineapple mango. Fresh pineapple juice, mango, and uh, vine ripened raspberry. That was a nice hand soap. All these delicious summer scents. I love it. Um, Let's see. What more Bath and Body Works? Oh, my husband went through this midnight scented, this smells really good, um, body spray or like cologne. I've really enjoyed the last couple men scented colognes I purchased for him. Um, he has like higher end colognes that I've purchased, but these are just nice for like days that maybe, you know, he's just not doing anything special necessarily, but still wants to smell nice. Um, he went through, I think it was called Cypress, which we loved and I don't think they make that one anymore. And then this was Midnight was a really good one as well. So I'm going to purchase another one of those for him, like in some sort of manly scent, probably at the next semi-annual sale. Um, or maybe I'll get him one for his stocking or something. Um, why am I throwing this away? Oh, so this was a candle. Uh, number 39 in the scent Tropical Sunset. It was orange, pineapple, tonka, and rum. Soy candle smelled so good. I got it in a um, subscription box from the Two Orchids YouTube channel. They have a subscription box called the Bee Style Box. And I had a subscription for, I think, a year with them. And this was one of the products that was in that box. It was lovely. But um, I left it in our camping trail, and unfortunately, it, like, melted down and the wick went away. So um, I have to toss it. But smelled really good. I think it was a local candle brand where they live in Ohio. Amazon Falls. This was a candle I got so many years ago at a semi-annual sale for 75% off. And this is when the candles were $22.50 and then it was 75% off of that. This candle, like I could only burn it for maybe an hour at a time. It was so strong. It smells like fresh cut grass. So if that's your thing and you ever see this candle, Amazon Falls, you might like it. I got really tired of it and I think I still have one more with my candles. So I might have to gift that to somebody or yeah, we'll see. Uh, went through an airborne, trying to take our vitamins and stay healthy and not get sick. Went through, oh, this is nice. Okay, this is the Johnson's Soothing Vapor Bath. So this is kind of like a eucalyptus or spearminty scented. Um, it's not like a bubble bath, but it's like a bath soak that you would use for your kids when they're sick. And you just dump it in their bath water and it's like, you know, like menthol eucalyptus. It helps kind of clear their 
their airways if they're coughing or if they have a stuffy nose. So I really do enjoy this and I have purchased more of these. I heard about them from somebody um, in an empties video actually. That's why I love empties videos because you hear about these products that you might not have known existed. And um, so I purchased one of those to have on hand and then when my kids were sick the next time I was just so grateful that I had it. So there you go, try it out if you have little kids. Um, I went through this Maui Moisture shampoo and then there's conditioner on the floor that fell out of the box. Um, yeah, I got this at Costco. I didn't like this. I never felt like my hair got really clean using it. And I, again, I think I might have used this once before and told myself that, but purchased it again because I forgot. And yeah, if I go back and watch this, I need to not purchase this again because it does not work for my hair. It smelled really nice, just does not work on my hair. Um, here is that shampoo from that herbal essence conditioner that I used. Here is another Bath and Body Works candle in Peach Bellini. I love the peach scents from Bath and Body Works so much. And Peach Bellini might be one of my favorite peach scents, if not my favorite. Um, succulent white peach, sparkling Prosecco, sweet orange, and essential oils. So good. If you've never tried the Peach Bellini candle or any of their scented products, give that scent a try. I went through this Bonjour Paris shower gel. We used this in our camping trailer. We went on a huge trip this summer to a bunch of national parks in uh, like Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon, Moab, um, which is Arches National Park. Anyway, like five different national parks. And so this was in our camping trailer. So this scent will remind me of that trip. Bonjour Paris. It was a good one. Um, I went through this sun bum heat protector, so I would just spray this on a chunk of hair before I either curled it or straightened it, and it was nice. It smelled summery and tropical. Mm, yeah, like their, um, sunscreen, if you've ever tried it. It smells really good. So, as far as the heat protector, I like other ones better, because this was kind of oily, so you had to, like, shake it up every time you used it, but it was nice to have my hair kind of smell like that, too, so maybe I would repurchase this especially in the summer. Uh, my husband went through the CO Bigelow premium shave foam and it smells like eucalyptus and it's the old school like shaving cream can. Anyway, he loved this. He loves it. Like usually the products I buy him from Bath and Body Works, he's just kind of neutral on, but he was like, oh my gosh, I love that shave foam so much. I love that scent. He said he loved like the tingly feeling it left on his face and it made him feel so clean after he shaved. So I have a couple more of these in the shave cream in the same eucalyptus scent. So anytime I see these at Bath and Body Works, I'll like on sale or something, I'll pick up more. He really enjoyed that. Um, Pure Radiance hand masks. These came from TJ Maxx. You leave them on for like 20 to 30 minutes. They make your hands soft for like a couple hours, but no lasting effects. It was a nice little pampering thing to do though. I love this Garnier micellar water. I use this after I take my makeup off, wash my face, and then I go with my slayer water on my face with a cotton pad just to make sure I get any leftover residue, and that's my favorite. Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash from Philosophy. I don't get the hype with this product. I know a lot of people really love it, but it was just okay to me. Um, I would use it if I had one that was like given to me or maybe if I saw it at TJ Maxx for a discount, but I wouldn't pay the full price for it. I used up another Wallflower in Watermelon Lemonade. That is a classic, maybe my favorite summer scent, that and like the peach for Bath and Body Works in the summer. Love that. Another um, Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Another hand soap from Bath and Body Works. This was in the scent Orange Sunrise. And so it was just sweet orange, juicy peach, and sugar cane. This was a great, fresh um, hand soap. I went through a champagne, apple, and honey fragrance mist. I used this in my bathroom. This was just a nice apple scent. Here is another wallflower in watermelon lemonade. That was great. Uh, lemon mint leaf. This was a nice, fresh um, summer scent to have, and we had it in our bedroom, actually. Went through this geranium Mrs. Meyers dish soap. I liked this scent. I think this is the first time I'd used geranium, like this summer, and I enjoyed it. Here is the Tarte Micellar Water. I got this in an advent calendar last year. This was okay. I love, you know, or I enjoy Tarte products, but I wouldn't pay full price for this when I love the Garnier Micellar Water. I think it works just as well. 
I uh, went through a Crest 3D White. We go through that Too Faced all the time. Another Mrs. Myers in the Snowdrop scent. This is a really good one. I love this one for winter. Um, here is a Copper Tone Sunblock. This was the Hydro Face Mask, Victoria's Secret Face Mask. This was fine. Again, I haven't found a face mask that I love more than another one. So I think I got that at a semi-annual sale. Um, here is a soothing foot cream with calming colloidal oatmeal. And it was by the brand Dermatonics. I was looking for different foot creams to keep my feet soft and um, moisturized in the summertime especially. And I was watching some different recommendation videos on foot creams. And this was one that was recommended and it was really good. I used it, um, I got it on Amazon and I would totally purchase this again. So yeah, if you're looking for a good foot cream, maybe give this one a try. Here's a Crest 3D White in charcoal. We enjoyed those as well. Um, Brooklyn Baby Wipes. We're probably on our last <coughs> case of baby wipes. Both of our boys are potty trained our six-year-old obviously and then our three-year-old as well but um yeah so no more diapers or anything we just kind of keep those around for cleanup if we need it um if you have kids you know what I mean uh mango mandarin shower gel this was fine I got it on sale at a semi-annual sale the scent notes are juicy mango sparkling mandarin orange and nectarine blossom so that was a good one Nivea Foaming Silk Body Wash. My husband gets me like a Nivea set of body care or he has the last two Christmases. It's a nice like drugstore um, brand. I don't like the foaming body wash though. It's just is kind of weird. Like it comes out like shaving cream and then you use it to wash your skin. I prefer just like a normal liquidy or gel body wash. Um, I have one more of these in the shower right now that I'm going through. So I won't repurchase these, but if he got me another one, I totally would use it. Another personal, uh, what are these, laundry detergent pod. We, we like the pods. We prefer those. Okay, last four products. So two face masks. We have the Fresh To Go Yuja face mask. It's a Tony Moly one. And then another one of the cucumbers. These were both from TJ Maxx and both fine. Um, this is the L'Occitane or L'Occ L'Occitane uh, hand cream. This was good, really expensive hand cream. I will never pay full price for that brand. Um, and then the Alba Botanical Hawaiian Sunscreen, 50 SPF, went through that this summer. So, oh my goodness, we got through it. Four months of empty products. If you're still here, give this video a like and um, let me know if you've used anything down below that I should try out. I love trying new products that I haven't used before. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe and stick around. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.